We joined Kira by the HSE's Director of Clinical Strategy, who believes our obsession with going to hospital is part of the problem in our health service. Um, Dr. Kira Kelly, if I can use that uh, that title that for this old, particular that old thing, <laughs> uh, is it uh, is it part of the problem with our health service? The obsession in going to the hospital? I don't think it is. I think most people like to avoid hospitals. To be honest, I think most people do. There are people who use hospitals inappropriately, but I would suggest the vast majority of people, quite rightly, have no desire to go anywhere near or darken the door of a hospital. So I, I think that's the case. And I think when you're looking at the problems in the health service, and you're looking at, say, for example, the trolley crisis, the people lying on beds mm. waiting to be admitted. Where else should they be? If you're sick enough to warrant admission to the hospital, you need to be in A&E. You need to be sort of lying there. And the problem then is not one of people overusing the hospital. It's one of capacity. Yeah, except and look, you're the expert on this, but aren't there people, firstly in A&E who shouldn't be there? For example, I'm thinking of people who get hammered on a, a Saturday night. Should they necessarily uh, be uh, in A&E? And there are also people in the hospital system System who shouldn't be in hospital, who should be somewhere else, and that's having a knock-on effect and causing delays in in the. Uh, sorry, we sh- it's not A and E anymore. The emergency department. Yeah, we should use do, the yeah. proper term. Yeah, yeah. you see, I, I would come from a slightly different school of thought. I, I've often heard people say that one to me about, oh, p- drunks shouldn't be in A and E. Where else should they be? If you're so drunk that you're passed out and you're unwell and you're you know semi-conscious and likely to choke and die on your own vomit, where else should you be? And the reality of it is, is we drink too much. Eight percent of our health budget goes on Mm. alcohol related problems that's just part of our society and the health service is nothing if it isn't there to you know support the the, the vulnerabilities of our society and maybe we should address the drink but I don't think we can stop people from going to A&E I think most people don't want to go anywhere nigh or near a hospital if they can avoid it. And unfortunately, when they do have to go, they have to wait hours and hours and hours and hours because there is no capacity in the system.